This multimeter is just flat out for electricians. It doesn't have DC amps. It has exactly what you need on the job with reliability. Talking about multimeters. This is a field piece. This is tried and true. Has a nice magnetic strap here. Clamps. Light turns on. The head articulates. It has an inrush button. It's even backlit. You can select amperage and voltage at the same time. It has temperature. And a bunch of other features you're probably never gonna use. If you're doing HVAC or technical stuff, this might be a good option for you. Let me show you a better option. Now, before we get to the star of the show, gotta give you a little bit of perspective here. I probably owned about 30 plus different multimeters. I've owned this multimeter about eight times. Either it breaks or it gets stolen. That's just the way it is. This is a good multimeter, but this thing will run you a hundred bucks. This guy here starts at 250 for features like this. So I'm gonna show you probably the most popular, my favorite multimeter for banging around. Yes, banging around. Every electrician, in my opinion, needs a decent multimeter that gets the task done. Banging around, having in the truck, something that you can grab and do troubleshooting with, check continuity, ring out wires, uh, something like that that's gonna get knocked around on the job. That was this for me. First, we're gonna talk briefly about the Kiwitz. Kiwitz is a well-known brand by now. They're very affordable, they're backlit. They have auto sensing features. It's looking for voltage, it's looking for AC and DC as soon as you turn this on. Also has a built-in flashlight and a lot of other features. This is an excellent bang around meter. If you're pulling wire, you ran out of phase tape, your helper cut off the number, things happen. This is a very good option. It's a cheap multimeter, very affordable for a bang around meter. Here's another Kiwitz. It practically does everything. Even, even some of the features that this very expensive multimeter does. I do like the Kiwitz. They have sponsored this channel before, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't necessarily trust my life with cheaper multimeters. That's just the way it is. A uh, fluke, field piece, and some ideals. Klein's getting more well-known, um, things like that is is what I would trust. Let me go back to this multimeter real quick. This is a hundred bucks. It's an excellent multimeter. It's in the price range where you should be able to trust your life with it. But after owning about eight of these, from time to time, when you bump these, the screen will turn off, things like that. Uh, I no longer trust these like I used to. Uh, good old fluke, that's just the way it is. This thing has non-contact voltage sensing. It does not have backlit. It's very basic. You can hang this on your belt loop. You can always have it with you. It doesn't even have to go in your tool pouch. You can just clip it to whatever you want. You can see my screen is pretty banged up there. This thing has gotten a lot of use. It does all the basic things you need to do in a multimeter. This is a good option for a bang around meter at a hundred bucks so. This is what I'm recommending. If you go on kiwitz.com, I got a discount code for 15% off. TAT15 is the code. You can get this thing for like 37 bucks, I think. If you're running from plug to plug, you're working on a countertop, whatever you're doing, and you're just trying to track down whether you got a loose neutral or something, this is an excellent multimeter for you. If you want to buy one multimeter and you want to take care of it, and you want to somewhat bang this around, but take care of a multimeter for the rest of forever, this is it. You can pass this down. You, you can start your career with this and finish your career with this multimeter.
This is a fluke. It's tried and true. This is the T5. It's never let me down. This is the one. 120 bucks. Nice features. Not too many bells and whistles. Does everything you need it to. And it has some pretty important features that are essential for a multimeter that I trust with my life. For starters, the lead storage is a huge plus. They've got it figured out. As soon as you put these leads away where they go, this loops in there. You can even do another little kind of double turn there. Leads aren't ever going anywhere. Very nice, fits in your back pocket. Doesn't have any clips or anything fancy. Really nice, thin size. At 120 bucks, it's in the price range where it was my bang around multimeter price range, but you can start your career, you can finish your career, and you can pass this on to the next person if it doesn't get stolen. This is a lifetime tool. Of course, if you drop it, smash it, whatever, things happen, you're gonna have to get another one. But this is one of those tools that should last you a lifetime if you take care of it. Let's check out the features. Not very much there. It has continuity whenever you touch it. Beeps nice and loud. AC amped only. This is this is for electricians. This multimeter is just flat out for electricians. It doesn't have DC amps. It has exactly what you need on the job with reliability. The ohms is simple. This one doesn't even read through your body. You're not going to be able to condemn compressors with this. You're not going to be able to read thousands of ohms through the windings of motors and things like that. It just, you're gonna be able to bring out wires. You're gonna be able to check continuity. You're gonna be able to check polarity, things like that. Perfect. The amperage, AC only, it doesn't do DC. AC only, this is made for electricians, residential, commercial, even industrial. Very seldom do you ever check DC amperage. Voltage. Auto sensing, as soon as you switch to voltage here, it'll switch between AC and DC automatically. I do like that feature. On this meter, when you hit voltage, you actually get a light that turns on. You can see how we're still on voltage here. And you can see that we switched to DC right there, one volt. Next up, we got the lead storage on the back and also the lead holder so you can check your voltage. The leads are replaceable. If you accidentally short out a lead, you can pop that off. Nice silicone lead set. They do have a proprietary connection, but it's very affordable for what you're getting. And it does come with these caps, so you can put these on your leads like that to get less of your lead showing so you're less likely to short something out it comes with this clip that clips to your lead and you just pop it on there then everything is nicely stored again right where it was so for the price point 120 bucks right now this has got to be the best most reliable multimeter on the market with the most features for a great price you can get the t6 which is another 130 more dollars. I think it's $250 for it. In my opinion, by the time you get the T6 though, you may as well get a fully loaded field piece. The thing with Fluke is that they pack a lot of reliability and a lot of quality into all of their products. Just to get a backlit screen, you're already spending 250 bucks minimum on just about any of their multimeters. You don't necessarily have to have a backlit screen because you can press hold and then see what your reading is. Also obvious, we didn't display it here, but the clamp meter works very well. You put one single wire in there and it'll read the amperage. Reads it to 100 amps, which is plenty. Pretty hard to find a load more than 100 amps. And this should have everything that you need. At the price point, it's almost borderline a quality, reliable, bang around multimeter for the job site. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions or you want to see more multimeters or you want to see more tools, leave it in the comments below.
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.